That is so insanely good. <laughs> <laughs> it's about uh, two in the morning in uh, Vancouver Island's back country. And I've gone for one heck of a snowshoe here to get some amazing astro shot. I wanted to take you with me on this absolutely amazing experience I've had and also explain why I love it so much and this was kind of one of the main reasons I got into photography and videography was to capture these moments to come out when other people aren't around taking pictures it's really nice up here so I try and adjust my board yeah. My very first astro shot was of Lake Minnewanka, and it was on this camera, the uh, the Sony A6500 with the 16 mil Sigma. And I'd never used it before and we were driving, my wife and I, we were driving to Vancouver and Banff was on the way. So we stopped in Banff, but before we went to our hotel, I was like, it's a clear night. The moon's behind a mountain, like, let's just go up to Lake Minnewanka and see if I can get this shot. And that was like the cool thing. And again, I'm just a punish, <laughs> I'm a glutton for punishment out here, but that day was minus 40 degrees Celsius. So I was only able to get like, five or six photos before the battery absolutely fell off heart there and uh, and my hands and feet were just toast. But it was one of those really cool experiences where I was able to capture something I never thought I could ever capture. And, and tonight was one of those nights where I was able to get out and brave the cold a little bit and get some absolutely unbelievable shots that I'm so happy to share. Um, not just on my Instagram, but for me to always have, for me to have prints of, and I just, I can't say enough good things about it. Yeah, the reason I love like long exposure shots is it forces you to be super patient, to understand your settings and your camera and your lenses. Uh, my buddy Kevin got me into it. I saw some of the photos he was doing and you know, I was just blown away by the way you could capture something. and. Uh, it, it got me into it and some of my favorite moments on vacations were when I took the time to get all the camera gear out, stay up late and start taking photos. Because once you start taking the photos, you just, you, you're just wide awake, you're wired, you're absolutely in like this flow state where you're just waiting for that next shot. But I remember I was in Hawaii and I went down to the beach, set up my camera and with all the critters running around and I was just able to get these amazing stunning photos that just over the ocean made you feel like you were truly on the edge of the world. Ooh. 